teleportation is now a reality. After years of research and development, Google finally created world's smallest shortcut a wormhole successfully, using their quantum computer. And also they teleport a small particle through this wormhole. A team of physicists led by Maria Spirapulu of the California Institute of Technology opened a wormhole using a quantum computer. They sent information from one side to the other for the first time ever. But what exactly is a wormhole and how did Google achieve this incredible feat? Did they really create a wormhole and in a lab? Join us as we uncover the truth behind this shocking discovery. Let's start with understand what exactly are wormholes. Wormholes are theoretical structures in space-time that could potentially be used as a shortcut for faster-than-light travel. Imagine you are on Earth and you want to travel to a planet that is located on the other side of the galaxy. The normal way of traveling would take you thousands of years, even with the fastest spacecrafts. But, if there was a wormhole connecting Earth to that planet, you could travel through the wormhole and arrive at the other end in a matter of minutes. But how physicists created a quantum wormhole in the lab? Let's start with the story of the discovery of wormholes. The story begins in 1935 when Albert Einstein wrote a paper with Nathan Rosen, where the first time Einstein Rosen bridge appers. And these are bridges that connected two seemingly unconnectable pieces of space-time. In the ER paper, Einstein and his young assistant, Rosen, stumbled upon the possibility of wormholes, while attempting to extend general relativity into a unified theory of everything a description not only of space-time, but of the subatomic particles suspended in it. They suggested that the intense energy and pressure of the early universe may have created a tunnel-like structure, connecting two distant points in space, that could be used as a shortcut through space-time, potentially allowing for faster-than-light travel. But 1935, same year, another paper, the EPR paper, stand for Einstein, Podolsky, Rosen, the EPR paradox is concerned with the nature of quantum entanglement. Entanglement is a phenomenon in quantum mechanics when two particles they are partners. Even if you take them apart, and place it to the other edge of the universe, they hold information, so if you measure the one, you know what the other will be. The EPR paradox arises from the implications of quantum entanglement for the theory of relativity and local realism. Einstein believed that entanglement implies information being transmitted faster than light, violating relativity. However, modern quantum mechanics has shown that entanglement does not violate relativity and is a real phenomenon. After the EPR paper was published in 1935, there was debate and discussion about entanglement and its implications for quantum mechanics. Some physicists like Niels Bohr argued that the EPR paper did not demonstrate any inconsistencies in quantum mechanics. Einstein passed away in 1955, long before the work of Juan Maldacena and Leonard Susskind, who were both prominent theoretical physicists. They made important contributions to understanding quantum mechanics and the nature of space and time. They proposed that a theory of gravity in a higher dimensional space is equivalent to a quantum field theory in one lower dimension. They also suggested that the Einstein-Rosen ER, and einstein podolsky rosen EPR paradoxes are the same, but viewed from different perspectives. They likened a wormhole, which transfers an object from one place to another through a tunnel, to a wormhole between quantum entangled particles, which instantly transfer information. Now, according to this, if we transfer an object from one place to another place using entanglement, the existence of wormholes is proven and we also know how to create artificial wormholes in a lab. Now scientists have begun this process, with Harvard professor Daniel Jaffer designing a wormhole teleportation protocol. This protocol provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a wormhole using a quantum computer. To test this, professor of physics at Caltech, Maria Spiropoulou, and her team visited Google, where the world's only quantum computer, Sycamore, is located. The Sycamore quantum computer can perform specific calculations in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years. The team used a version of a model called SYK, which involves the interactions of many particles and mapped it onto connections between neurons in a neural network. They then trained the system to delete as many connections as possible while preserving a key wormhole signature. This allowed them to program the quantum computer's qubits to simulate the movement of information through a wormhole. The qubits easily transfer information using quantum entanglement, but instead of transferring information, Spiropulu's goal is to transfer an object through these qubits. She used seven qubits from the Sycamore quantum computer, separated them by a certain distance, and placed a different qubit particle near them. By changing the spin of all seven qubits, they were able to simulate the movement of an object through a wormhole. This 
information was then transferred to the other seven qubits and their spin was changed in the opposite direction. And then, a miracle happened, the different qubit was teleported. This breakthrough led to the creation of the world's first artificial wormhole using the Google Quantum Computer.